numbers really as far as uh, within the Sevag is concerned uh, since 2008 outside the subcontinent. Remember that series in New Zealand, uh, Gotham Gambit was was outstanding, not necessarily within the Seba. In South Africa, again, way below expectations. England, not the best of times as well. Australia, again, not too many really did well. And amongst them were uh, within the Seba as well. So it's been a bit of a struggle, really, as far as within the Seba is concerned, outside the subcontinent. So we're, we're inviting your thoughts and your opinions. We are inviting your faces to be on this particular channel as well. And how can you go about doing that? That's via Skype. That's our email ID, reflectedalc.me your prime at gmail.com all you need to do is to just mail your skype id and your mobile number try to be online between 9 30 and 10 30 we'll get in touch with you just like what rajesh gupta has managed to do at this point in time uh, speaking to us via skype from but now thank you so much rajesh for taking your time out and being uh, present online thanks appreciate your presence via skype what's your what's your opinion about virendra sevak at this phase of his career uh, thank you very much rk uh, i'm not from Patna. i'm speaking from agra Oh, Agra, uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I have been a regular watcher of your program for, I think, last four or five years, and I have been regularly listening to whatever you are discussing uh, with people on phone and on Skype. And uh, as far as this topic is concerned, I feel that in India presently, there is no alternative for Seba, at least in test. See, look, he is an impact player. Just look at his average. Look at his strike rate. He is a match winner. The biggest advantage of having Sehwag at top of the order is that he is simply, when he gets going, he simply destroys the uh, opposition bowlers, uh, destroys the morale, and at the same time, the Indian score uh, line simply gallops along. And this also helps the other batsmen in the team uh, to strike good form. Right, and, point uh, taken, Rajesh. Po point taken. I, we completely buy your point. That's, that's the feeling of the majority of people. But... What do you make of Virendra Sehwag himself conveying not too long back that he would want to drop down to the middle order? So obviously he might have thought about a few things before he discussed that in public domain, really. See, he had been a valuable player for India over the past so many years. Correct. Presently, yeah. what I feel that he is under pressure. I don't know what is the reason, but he is simply under pressure. And he feels that if he has a couple of failures at the top, he might not be in the team, might not feature in the team uh, in the next few matches. Because of so many youngsters uh, knocking at the door of Indian testing. But I feel that he is absolutely wasted. He will be wasted at lower down the order because he is an impact player at the top. So are you, saying, are you saying, can I can I read it like this? Are you saying, if Sehwag is a part of the team, he should be at number one or number two. Otherwise, there's no point in having Sehwag in the team at all. Is that your point, really? <laughs> Definitely. See, uh, the, advantage, the, the biggest advantage of uh, Seva being an attacking batsman at the top is that sure. in the initial few overs, obviously, there is an attacking field by the opposite, uh, opposition captain and this gives Seva lots of room to play his stroke. He plays most of his strokes in the air and he sometimes can get away at the start of the inning but not in the middle part or in the lower part of the inning. Okay, point taken, Rakesh. Point, point taken, Rajesh. Let me get across to Ramandeep who is joining us from New Delhi. Ramandeep, your thoughts on, on Virendra Seva? his position in the batting order as well. Your thoughts, please. Good evening. Hello. Ramandeep, if you can hear me. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Ramandeep. Uh, RK this side. Yeah. Your thoughts. Your thoughts. Uh, Say what? Yeah, I'm talking about it. Hanji. Mr. He is in the field and the overseas performance is not going to be anything. In India, they have not been able to do anything like that. Performance in recent past haven't been the greatest as far as Sevag is concerned, so why not give others an opportunity so that they can be groomed going forward as openers and whatever in that particular side? Uh, I feel, especially against Australia, Sevag has got a very good record and he tends to give his best when uh, playing against Australia. So I firmly believe that he should be given a chance against Australia and this may well be his last chance. If he performs well, well and good. He can add a couple of more years to his career. Otherwise, there are definitely other options to look at. Yeah, but, but Ramandeep's point is unless you give opportunities at home, the players or the batsmen might not be confident or might not gain that confidence that's so very required 
when they go abroad, say for example to South Africa, which India will be doing a little bit later in the year? I feel that it's too big a series and obviously India has to avenge four hero defeat. They suffered at the hand of Australia and I think uh, this is a stage set for Seva. And uh, another, another point is that he can still be considered a captaincy material, at least in test matches for India. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Rajesh Gupta, for uh, speaking to us right here on Science Thank you so much, Ramandeep, as well, for speaking to us via phone.